Hello, welcome to this uh, short video tutorial on model uh, transformation and today we are going to discuss about uh, the URI of a model how to about how to set the URI of a model in Eclipse URI stands for Unify Resource Identifier and why do we have to do this uh, tutorial here I recently have get some feedback about some uh, some uh, users who have uh, seen my video on the YouTube and then were, were having problems setting uh, the URI I so the URI we deal with uh, in model transformation the main key thing is the model when dealing with the model when we write our code we have to specify from where uh, the source model will be taken in order uh, to get the target uh, model and for that one uh, I'm just coming back to make uh, this short video tutorial let's go back to Eclipse here here is one a simple project that I prepared a long time ago and then the URI is here this first line here you specify here and here you see use source model and here this uh, line here is referencing where our model is located suppose if we change we just modify this to one you just add one extra one here in the model you see like we are starting having error because uh, the IGE does not uh, recognize uh, this uh, URI that we have set and for that it will be unable to get the source model whenever uh, you will execute the program so to do that one here in Eclipse here we go to uh, the project right click the projects and then on the properties <coughs> depending of the type of uh, transformation that we are doing and here we are it is about a uh, uh, QVT it is a QVT project so we go here as you can see QVT settings here and on the QVT setting we go to mapping in mapping here you can see the source URI and then target URI and uh, to add to add a new one here first if you go here we can edit it so you can see the contents here and here can be anything that we want you can put anything here this is just uh, uh, what I added in the case of this project and here we localize where uh, the model is uh, located we try to identify the model in our project and here our initial model is the ECOR it's one ECOR file it can be uh, an HTML uh, file or any, any other type of model and a UML file or HTML file or any type of model that we are dealing with and then you just specify here as in this case we go to project 6 here and then go to model here our model is localized here and then we just scroll down and then click on that one and then okay then you'll have uh, our model set if you have many models we can just add them here like here you can put ABC then specify uh, our target model it does not only need to be in the you can put it anywhere but for the sake of presentation here you have created one new folder under the project and then put our model there so here we get this one and then if you go to the project and specify it we should be able to uh, like okay we just put abc as our source model and then let's go here and replace and try to replace this line here by abc with abc sorry so if you just replace this line here with abc and see what will happen we see like okay our project now is uh, is okay 
So because we just had a new reference called uh, ABC. So I hope that uh, the message has been clear in this uh, tutorial. And then if you still have any problem, feel free to put a comment. Thanks and see you the next time. Bye.